In early 1951, at a meeting with the Soviet Naval Command, Stalin said, the U.S. Navy is phasing in new heavy cruisers, while the Soviet Union is building only light ones with 152 millimeter primary armament, which won't be able to counter the American ships. At the same time, using the Stalingrad-class heavy cruisers with their 305 millimeter guns against Des Moines-class cruisers with 203 millimeter primary armament is not reasonable. It's like using a cannon to shoot a fly. As a result, a decision was taken to immediately start building a national fleet of medium cruisers. The new ship was designated as Project 66. The same year, the newly appointed Soviet naval minister, Vice Admiral Kuznetsov, approved the operational requirements of this ship. Her primary purpose was to successfully resist heavy cruisers and sink light ones. The ship was also intended to destroy coastal targets and support the Navy's light forces. An important requirement was the maximum unification of her mechanisms and armaments, and that she even share her silhouette with the Stalingrad-class cruisers, which were under construction at the time. The cruiser's main battery was to comprise nine 220 mm guns placed in three turrets. The dual-purpose battery consisted of eight 130 mm guns in four turrets. The anti-aircraft armament had six 45 mm and six 25 mm quadruple auto cannons. The ship's maximum length was 252 and a half meters. The beam was about 26 meters. Total displacement was 30,750 tons. Armor, main armor belt, 155 millimeter. Upper armor deck, 50 millimeter. Middle armor deck, 70 millimeter. Magazines, up to 90 millimeter. The torpedo protection was to sustain an explosion equivalent to 250 kilograms of TNT. The main power plant produced 210,000 horsepower. Maximum speed, 34 and a half knots. Cruising range, 5,000 miles at 18 knots. Crew, 1,428 people. Victory in the naval part of World War II was achieved by the Western Allies mainly thanks to aircraft carriers. Battleships and cruisers became a combat support element for carrier groups and a fire support asset for ground forces. Nevertheless, the Soviet military and political leadership didn't fully realize this and continued to view heavy artillery ships as a key naval strike force. The Soviet Navy was far behind its U.S. and British counterparts, who were now its former allies. New ships were required, and the Project 66 cruisers were to serve as such. In August 1953, the Central Design Bureau No. 17 completed the ship's schematic design. But in March, after Stalin had passed away, the Soviet government changed its plans for military shipbuilding. The country stopped constructing heavy cruisers and designing a new battleship. The medium cruiser became the largest combat ship for the Soviet Navy. The lead Project 66 ship was to be laid down at the Baltic shipyard in Leningrad. Serial ships of the class were to be built in Nikolaev, Molotovsk, now Severodvinsk, and at a new large shipyard, restored especially for this purpose in Sovietskaya Gavin. However, the first cruiser of the class could be commissioned only in the second half of 1958. During the tactical assessment of Project 66, her combat capability was matched with that of the Des Moines-class heavy cruiser. Developed and tested in 1954, the 220 mm gun for the SM-6 turret had almost double the range of the American 203 mm Mark 16 gun, 50 kilometers against 27.8. But the automated main battery guns of Des Moines 
at about twice the rate of fire. In terms of other key combat characteristics, the two ships were also of about equal strength. In February 1954, the Naval Academy in Leningrad held a tactical game involving Project 66 in Des Moines. As a result, a conclusion was made that the Soviet cruiser's excessive displacement was inadequate for her combat capability. Throughout the year, until late September 1954, Minister of Shipbuilding Ivan Nasienka was debating with Commander of the Navy Nikolai Kuznetsov and Defense Minister Nikolai Bulganyin whether it was reasonable to build the Project 66 cruisers. The military believed these ships would be effective against Des Moines-class cruisers and the like by having the advantage in firepower, deck armor, maximum speed, torpedo protection, survivability, and unsinkability. On the other hand, people from the industry were saying that this ship, which cost as much as three Project 68 BIS Sverdlov class light cruisers, was too expensive, but still lacked reliable protection from the rapidly developing naval missile systems. As a result, Soviet leadership agreed with the shipbuilders, and the medium cruiser project was closed. Had the Project 66 cruisers been completed, they could have escorted carrier battle groups, which were to be formed from 1956 through 1965, but times changed, and Project 66 went down in history as the last design for a large artillery ship developed in the Soviet Union and probably the whole world.